We want to bring something that enhances the freedom of the game, not something that binds you into uh, narrative components that maybe you're not all that interested in. Creating a linear open world experience is just something that wouldn't be conducive to a Just Cause game. Uh, players tend to play our game at breakneck speed. So it made sense for us to break up the story into pieces uh, and place it throughout the world. A lot of it comes from the world that we try to realize. A lot of it comes from the ancient civilizations that we want to make sure we're embedded in there. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you're experiencing some part of the story. And it's really in your own order. Uh, we put a lot of attention uh, in crafting a narrative and delivering it in a way that uh, we believe can really work and can finally entice uh, also those players that are, are looking for a little bit more of that into your character progression, into the reason for doing what you do. Even as they fly by it at 100 miles an hour as they go in the wingsuit, they take a look and they go, huh, that looks like uh, some people live there. They're under some extreme conditions. I wonder, I wonder why that is. This is actually the time when Rico and the player, as powerful as they are, they've met their match. You create your visions uh, with your directors. And this time around, we also had a narrative director. The big misconception with narrative or storytelling in games is that you need more to tell a better story. And it's just like cinema. You can tell a great story in 90 minutes. We want to tell a good, honest, action story. Every character we approach, the first question we ask ourselves is, uh, who is this person? Why do they make sense for the story? How do they relate to Rico? Or how don't they relate to Rico? Does that create conflict? Very important for us to not play into genre conventions. We want to create people that are believable and relatable and are unexpected. For example, one of the characters Rico meets, she's young, uh, she's a rebel for all the reasons that Rico's never been a rebel for in the past. One of our very earliest sects that we tried very hard to nail was this idea that there's something new to discover around every corner. The beauty of the open world is, is finding ways to converge on those narrative points. Just because there's not a cutscene to tell you a plot point or a story point doesn't mean that the narrative is not ongoing. It, the story is always happening. You're spending time with these characters across all these objectives and you're getting to know them. It's a bit of a different socio-political setting than we've had in previous Just Causes, which were more built around like a dictator or a warlord. This situation, it's a little less obvious uh, who the enemy is. And instead, you're forced to kind of expose the layers of both corruption and malintent underneath that. Have I engaged in, this, in these conflicts because I'm drawn to danger, I'm drawn to the chaos? It's the sort of perfect blend of nonlinear narrative storytelling in a massive open world game.